Very good morning to you, Miss Mandy. Thank you so much for being part of the Kids Ask episodes. Um, so, um, how are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling great, thank good. you. Good, excellent. So, we do have some questions from students, and we've got some from oh, all the way up to Year 7 and all the way down to FS2. Lovely. So, I've got some super questions. So, shall we get going? Let's get started. Let's get started. So, our first question this morning for you, Miss Mandy, is from Azan, and Azan is in Year 6. Here we go. Hello, I'm Azan from 6F. And I want to ask you, what do you do in your spare time? So as an, I'm not sure whether you know, but I am a mum of three little children. So I don't often have much spare time. However, my guilty pleasure um, for when I do have some extra time is to curl up on my own in a nice peaceful space and read a book. And that is what I like to do in my spare time. Fantastic. And what book are you reading at the moment? I am reading an educational book, Miss Jan, oh, and I'm okay. reading a book that's called Learning Walkthroughs. Wow. Okay. Look Very forward to hearing about that one. Okay, so our next question is from Jana, and Jana is in Year 5. Hi, my name is Jana, and I'm from 5B, and what makes you happy in life? Lovely question. It is a lovely question, Jana, and thank you for that. So what makes me happy, and that's a really easy question for me to answer, it's my children. Mm -hmm. I have got three beautiful children. Their names are Luke, Ollie, and Lucia. And having some time to spend with them, laughing, playing, swimming, doing lots, just having lots of time together, that is what makes me happiest. They enjoy the moments when they're little, because they don't stay little very long. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that for nothing. <laughs> okay, now another question. This is from a Year 6 student. This is from Omar. My name is Omar, and I'm from 6F. And my question is, do you have any siblings? And where do they live? Mm -hmm. Again, another good question from Omar. Yes, Omar, I do. I have got two siblings. I have got an older sister. And luckily for me, she lives just down the road in Dubai. Um, and I see lots of my sister. Um, she's also a teacher and she works in James Jumeirah College. Right. She's a maths teacher? Right? Yes, yes, she's a secondary maths teacher. Right. I also have a younger brother, his name is John, and he lives in Scotland. Um, so I haven't seen him very much, very recently, um, but he has got two beautiful daughters. Um, so when I do go back to Scotland, I do like to catch up with him and his family too. That's fantastic. Yeah, looking forward to seeing our families back when we can travel safely. Lovely. Oh, here we go. This is FS2 Ooh. now. So this is from Celia and she's in FS2F. Here we go. Hi, I'm Celia. I want to know what's your favourite flower? Oh, I love to get flowers and my favourite flower is an oriental lily and it's because of the beautiful smell um, mm. that we get from that flower. So lovely question, Celia. <laughs> nice one, love flowers. Okay, um, this is a year two student. This is Kabir from 2H. I am Kabir, I would like to ask you, do you think dinosaurs still exist? Oh, dinosaurs. Oh, absolutely, like, they definitely exist because I've seen them. Where have you seen a dinosaur? I have seen a dinosaur in Dubai Mall, so, <laughs> It's a fact, dinosaurs do exist. Okay. All right, and I'll leave that one with, with you, Miss Mandy. Okay, this is year three now, and this is Ranveer. Hi, my name is Ranveer, and I just want to ask you, uh, what is your favorite country and why? Oh, this is a tough one because I love to travel. And before the pandemic, I loved to travel to lots of different countries. I do love um, Thailand and Sri Lanka, but I have to say that my heart will always be in my home country, which is Scotland. And the reason why that is, is, is because of the beautiful mountains, lakes and fresh air. Beautiful, yeah. Nice, cool, fresh air. Looking forward to getting a nice deep lung <laughs> full of that when we can. Okay, year seven. Okay, hey. good one for you, Miss Mandy. This is from Hashim from 7H. Hi, my name is Hashim Al Hamami. I'm in 7H. Um, and what made you come to Dubai? Mm. Well, yeah. that is a fantastic question from Hashim. Now, I mentioned earlier that I had an, an older sister who was in Dubai. 
Now she had come to Dubai way back in, I think it was 2008, and she came out to be a teacher. And I came in lots of holidays um, to visit her, and I saw the wonderful lifestyle that she had here, enjoying this fantastic city. So after coming to visit after several years, I decided that I would do what I often do with my big sister, which is to copy her. <laughs> um, she is a wonderful role model, <laughs> and I decided to follow in her footsteps and take the leap and move to Dubai to become an, um, a teacher here. Fantastic, thank you so much. This is a Year 6 student, and this is Kisna. My name is Kisna from Class 6 F, and my question is, did you ever dream of being a teacher? So was it your dream to always be a teacher, Miss Mandy? The short answer to that is no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't always want to be a teacher. However, I did want to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. People found that I was quite argumentative in my teenage years and felt that that would be a great strength for me. However, once I got to do some work experience and had some opportunities to work with younger children, I realised that that was my passion and I got great pleasure from doing some voluntary work experience with young children and that made me realise that that was my, my calling. Future. Yeah, it was my calling, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, Miss Jan. Mm, lovely. Okay, thank you. And well, it's a good job you did because otherwise you wouldn't be here with us That's now. True. So lovely to hear that. Uh, a couple more questions now. This is from Mark from Year 6. My name is Mark Mehta from 6F and I want to know um, how much time do you spend on social media? Oh, oh you are quite good at social media, Miss yes. Mandy. I've seen you around now. Again, the answer to that is too much. <laughs> I really try to limit my screen time, especially around my family, because I want my children to, the time I have to be with my children. But once my children do go to bed, I do spend a little bit each night updating my statuses on Twitter yep. and on Facebook Very and making good. sure that um, we celebrate the wonderful work that our students in school do on our GFS social media channels. Quick question about that from yes. me now. So who do you follow? Who do you think you, is the most important person for someone in education to follow? Right now, someone who I'm recently following is um, Jane Constadine. Okay. And she is an educational consultant who's written some packages for reading, mm -hmm. writing and spelling and she has caught my interest lately because mm -hmm. she's been um, casting lots of videos of her, of, of the teaching that she does mm -hmm. and it's inspired me here and it's inspired many of our colleagues as well and in fact we will be bringing Jane Considine to GFS next year. That's amazing because I do believe I follow Jane as well so that's <laughs> really really good to hear. So it's been lovely to have you this is our very last question and this is from Joanna and she is in year five. Hi I'm Joanna and I'm from 5B and Miss Mandy I just wanted to ask what is your most important thing in your life? I think we've already oh, had this one. You have and the, the, again the answer to that will be my children they are my absolute world so Thank you, Joanna, for your lovely question. And we want to thank you very much, Miss Mandy, for your time this morning. You are very welcome. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the kids asking you these questions and for us to get to know you has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.